everybody, how's it going? Uh, just thought I'd drop a quick line while I'm being loaded right now. Um, just wanted to let you all know that uh, I was successful this morning in delivering my first load, my first solo load. Well, technically in my own truck. I did three of them back when I was with Jamal, but by myself. But this one meant a lot to me. I mean, you know, I finally broke that ice and finally I'm on my own and finally doing my thing. And it was exciting and uh, it was simple, really. I was excited about that. I had no problem getting into my uh, dock or anything. And they offloaded me pretty quick. In fact, I got in early, so that was nice. But uh, the only problem was getting a load out of Minnesota was uh, kind of a task. But anyway, we got a load. We got a load out, took a couple hours, and I had to deadhead over to, or empty, had to run empty about 77 miles and fight the 35 to 40 mile an hour winds sideways. That was quite interesting, and Kersey told me, you won't notice it on the truck, but you'll notice the trailer when you start watching it. And it would look like I had a broken axle on the trailer. It was kind of a, kind of about, oh, I'd say I might be exaggerating. Probably, you could tell the difference of it being sideways and the truck being straight, but uh, yeah, that was 66 miles of tenseness, but managed to get it made and then moved up to the north where the wind was blowing north, so it was pretty simple getting on in the last 15, 16 miles. Made it over here and <clears throat> picking up my load right now. Of course, they give you a washout and all that good stuff, so right now I'm back in my dock and waiting on them to load, but I am running low on time. So, uh, anyway, this one's taken uh, from Minnesota. I'm going to Indiana with it. Uh, an ice cream load. They even gave me some ice cream. That was cool. So, I got some munchies on my trip. But anyway, get done with this. Go get a, go get on the scale. Get it scaled out. Get my paperwork. And then I'll be on my way. Hopefully, I can find a place down the road somewhere. Not too far away, but close. I've uh, got a delivery date on the 1st, which is Friday. And, uh, Gonna go about uh, 800 and 862 miles, I believe it is, to my 90. So uh, got till Friday morning at 0500. So I should be okay. I'm gonna probably do a do a 10 10 hour uh, break here in about oh I don't know a few hours from now. <coughs> anyway, I just want to let everybody know that. Me and uh, Eagle One are doing great. We're moving on down the road and I'm learning the Kirk's corks and everything of uh, International. Way much corks on this one. It's nice. It's been working for me. Uh, good and roomy. I mean, the only problem I got right now is figuring out my uh, distribution of wattage. I'm trying to figure that out. So, uh, got with my got with my my ex trainer, old trainer. Let me put it that way. He's not my ex. He's good friend and he always will be my friend uh jamal and uh he said man we'll get another extension and put it on that other part so you can run the other side of the room and i said yeah duh i didn't think of that of course and never do think of things but probably that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get me a, a couple of them i've got one already but i've got a i got a problem in running certain things to it because of the distance so I'm going to get me another one, probably two of them, one run out of my bunk and over to the uh, driver's side bunk and sleeper and have one over there and then uh, we'll see how this all pans out. I did experiment though to let you guys know that uh, uh, even though I have a, a refrigerator, it's a double decker, it's got a freezer on the top and a, and a refrigerator below because you know on the internationals they usually don't come with that with a cabinet and a refrigerator. And just to give you guys a heads up, I bought this one at Prime at the store, and it was only $185. Wait a minute, correction. What was it? I can't remember now. I'll have to look it up. But that was the TV and the mount I bought from Prime. So Anyway, I got it from them, and it was pretty reasonable price. I didn't care. So a couple of hundred bucks, I think it was. I don't know. But it was good to go. I waited and went to Walmart, got my... Uh, Point nine cubic foot uh, uh, microwave. But anyway, let's 
I can't detect it when it's going to, and the only, only it don't give you a buzz, it don't tell you nothing, it just gives you a little idiot light up there, it says in shut down, and that's it, it don't tell you nothing, you got 30 seconds once it lifts, lights up, and that's it, so, and I can't even catch it sitting in front of it, so, it's going to be quite interesting when I start using the air fryer, because I understand that the air fryer really uses a lot of power, and I haven't tested that yet, I've got a little crock pot too, I haven't tested it, the toaster I ain't tested, Oh, I did do the coffee pot, and the coffee pot's not that bad. It only runs up to about nine, nine hundred, I think it was, nine hundred watts. So, I mean, I'm good with that items there. I just hope I get this third. I got some good, good food I want to cook later on. I got seasoning and all that good stuff. So, probably tonight I'll be cooking something. I don't know what it is, but anyway, just wanted to let you guys know how things are going. I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting ready to start my second load. I was lucky to get the morning load on this pay period, so that was a plus. So this is starting a new week, so, you know, this was this is a good start for me. So, anyway, I just wanted to say hi to you guys. I just wanted to, thanks for all the comments. Oh, man, it's great to have 80 subscribers. I mean, I want more. I'd like to get a hundred. I'd like to hit a hundred. And, I mean, I've been watching other people's uh, videos, but they're not watching mine, I don't think. David H. and Melissa, you know, she's on TNT training right now with uh, with her husband he's her trainer they're doing their thing uh trucker uh well i'm sorry um oh man trucker nene i believe that's how it's pronounced i watch her videos they're very informative uh, i mean the last one kind of scared me she was freaking out but i think that was all planned but uh i watch hers and i i watch chad riches every once in a while when he's on there it would be nice if some of the celebrities would come and look at my stuff so but i like don't get me wrong i like who i got and i appreciate you guys you comment every time i post something and i try to answer them and i hope if i don't make a note on there and tell me hey you gonna say hi to me or what recognize me but uh if you if you need something like that let me know but uh yeah, that's what's going on. So everything seems to be cool. Everything seems to be smooth so far. Uh, this is going to be a little bit longer run, which is fine with me. You know, I love to drive, so it don't bother me at all. But uh, I appreciate you all, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys liking the name I put on it. It was Big Red, but I decided to do Eagle One because I'm an Eagle freak. I love Eagles because that's freedom and courage and bravery to me, being ex-military. Uh, I mean, that's just... That's what I think. I think of our freedom, you know, of this country. And I hope it stays that way after 2020. But that's not, we're not going to get into politics. I don't want to go there. Because that's, everybody's got their own opinion and their own way of life. And that's fine. But uh, anyway, hopefully soon it looks like some of these places are going to open back up again. And hopefully we'll get some good loads and get, 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 get cranking again a little bit more. I know it's been a little slow. And hopefully I can get one out over the weekend because it's uh, pretty difficult. If you don't get one by Friday, it's tough. But anyway, you guys, just want to touch base with you. Thank you all for subscribing. If you like my comments or like what I say on my videos, please comment. I mean, I love the comments. I read them all the time whenever I get a break. Uh, like, like my page and everything and subscribe. And also remember, now since I'm a full-fledged driver, if you're interested in coming to Prime, and which is an awesome company, guys. I, I've loved it. I've started in December, and I've loved every minute of it. And they'll take care of you. They'll, they have, they've got good trainers. I'm not saying they all are. But if you're interested in coming to Prime, put me down on your uh, on your application for a driver code as BARCUD, B-A-R-C-U-D. And I get a referral for that. And that would be awesome. If you would do that, that would be great. Uh, but anyway, if you want to come to Prime, come, to, come anyway. If you want to drive, this is the place to come to learn. I mean, I went from scratch to what I'm doing today, and I love it. So, anyway, again, thank you, guys. I'm ranting. I know that, but I just wanted to touch base with you. I want to tell, tell each and every one of you, please be safe out there. And also, 